for the monthly update. Uh, here we are. We're actually in Cedar Creek, which is on the Pickens County side of the lake on the very north end. We've got a gorgeous home behind us that we'll talk about here a little bit more in a minute. Uh, but first, let's go to the numbers. Here we are, December, early December. It's a little chilly out here today. In fact, they're calling for possibly snow this weekend, so winter weather has hit. We kind of went, seemed like, from summer to like a week of fall, and now we're all in winter. So uh, that's all great, and congratulations to the Clemson Tigers. Fourth year row of getting to the college playoffs, and I'm feeling pretty good this year about a national championship. So uh, all happy about that and looking good. And we, plenty of the Tigers got great awards. Uh, probably the one award that I thought was the coolest was uh, Hunter Renfro's award uh, for the for the best walk-on, um, you know, guy out there. So that to me was all his years and his name will go down in Clemson history. But to get an award as a walk-on is pretty special. Uh, cool stuff uh, out there, and uh, certainly congratulations to all the teams that made the playoffs. Let's start with lots as we always do. 356 waterfront lots available. Uh, you know that number normally is hovering around just under 400. Uh, but as we go into winter, some people will take them off the market and you'll see more as we start to get into the warmer months. Uh, right now there are 26 under contract. Uh, there have been 172 that have sold this year. Average sales price of 268, 264. Uh, compare that to last year. What I say, 172 have sold this year. At this date last year, 173 had sold. So almost again the exact same number. Um, average sales price last year was 249,816. So we have seen a little bit of a tick up in the average sales price, which is certainly good. Uh, but again, the, the prices have stayed down due to the liquidation sales this past year. Uh, hopefully next year, from what I'm hearing, we're not going to have any more liquidation sales. So we shouldn't have uh, that issue. We ought to see the prices start going back up. Uh, so great point there if you're looking for some you know lots there's still some great deals out there certainly even under two hundred thousand dollars and some nice point lots even available under three hundred thousand dollars so there's still some great values and the winter would be a great time to get out here and buy those uh, as people seem to be a little more motivated because we don't have as much business going on in the winter time as far as homes we've got 126 homes available right now uh, there are 26 under contract and um, just like lots, 26, and there have been 202 waterfront sales this year. Uh, interesting numbers though, when you look back compared to last year, this time there were 220, or excuse me, there were 202 sales this year, there were 222 sales last year. Where the numbers are different, this year 58 homes have sold at a million or over, compared to last year it was only 34. So 24 more homes have passed that million dollar barrier, which obviously is going to affect the average sales price. The average sales price this year is 863698 compared to last year at 715956 uh, So you're talking about about a $150,000 difference, but it's obviously very clear to see where that movement has been made. It's the upper end homes, it's certainly the golf course communities that we've talked about every month. Uh, because a lot more of those houses are selling. There were two houses that sold for over three million, eight of them for over two million, and then 48 of them between a million and two million this year. So that's where the numbers are there. Uh, and again, speaking of million dollar houses, that goes back to this beautiful listing behind us. Interesting home, we've got roughly 5,800 square feet, four bedrooms, three and a half baths, got floors throughout that are a Brazilian um, cherry, hardwood, you've got unbelievable rock, you've got cedar shake on the outside, and one thing that's really neat that you'll see as we're down here in the water, there were three lots that were put together to form this property. And as you'll see down there, you've got the orange tape uh, marking one pin, and then you go 400 plus feet back to the other side of me over here, and you'll see orange tape down there just past the fallen tree. There's a pine tree that's, that's gone down, and um, go about another probably 40 feet beyond that and you'll see the orange tape over 400 feet of waterfront so that the adjoining docks that you see those will be the closest docks uh, that you're going to have so just a great home great uh, opportunity here you can rent in this community so let's say that you might have one two or three couples 
looking to go in together for, on something that's really nice. This would be a great house for that. And then you could even offset some of your costs by renting it some parts of the year. So again, great opportunity here. Um, again, spend time with your family. We like it this time of year. It does slow down some, so we have more time to spend with our family, kids. Um, you know, just getting to, to hang out and do some things as we're not the hustle and bustle of the the spring and summer that we're used to dealing with and again enjoy that and if we can help you in any way give us a call now is a great time to get out to see property leaves are almost all down off the trees so a great time to see the views crisp clear air and you'll know exactly what you're going to get so uh, give us a call 800-682-9098 and we look forward to seeing you again next month and we'll finish up the year with the statistics and then uh, we'll get going on 2019